All right, this is the Evolution 1 printer. Here are the, all the components that belong to the Evolution 1 printer. We have here the controller. We have the data cable that goes between the controller and the print head. We have a power supply that's connected to a small plug that connects into the back of the print head. And we have a power cable here that connects to the power supply and plugs into a 110 outlet. Another item of, of uh, notice would be that this little latch right here pulls back, the cartridge lifts back and up, and this is the HP cartridge that belongs to the printer. It's a simple uh, 4500 uh, Evolution Digital Design cartridge, and it uh, simply slips back into the control head, similar to this. A little bit of jockeying to get it in and snap the lever up until it snaps into place. Okay, now to assemble the the uh, print head and to get it printing on a product, basically we need to plug in the power cable into the into the power supply. And I'm just going to go over here and plug this into a quickly into a 110 outlet. Okay? And on here you'll see a green light has now come on on the power supply. That green light just indicates that it's plugged in. We're now going to take the back, the, uh, the wire, the cable, to the back of the print head which fits into this receptacle right here. We have a ground wire here that's going to connect onto your conveyor belt system somewhere to make sure that the product is grounded. Simply placing this in you'll see some, uh, some LEDs are going to turn on here shortly as soon as I plug it in. In it goes. And we now see the LEDs are flashing on the back of the printhead telling it that it's plugged in, that we have power to it. <clears throat> the controller, you notice on the top of the controller here, we have a plug connector. This is a simple Ethernet type connector that just simply plugs in with a snap. The other part of the controller cable plugs into the back of the print head and you'll see that there's two arrows on the back of the print head one shows in and one shows out this is going to go to the in side and simply plugs in as soon as it plugs in we now see that the display is showing please wait and getting ready to go the message on the bottom shows you this is the message it will print head number one the speed is 60 feet per minute and currently it's in the stop position by pressing the key right here, you see a green little, let's see if I can get that in there. You see these little diagrams on there. This one here says that it will start to print. So by pressing that, this now says printing. So in the printing mode, you'll now see as well, on the back of the print head, the LEDs are, are on again. By going out of print mode, the LED will turn back off. And I don't know if you saw that or not. I'll try and get a better angle here if I can. I'll zoom in a little here. On the print head. Okay, we'll go into print mode again. And there's the print light telling you that it's in print, it's print ready. I'll put a piece of paper simulating a cardboard box past the print head. And it will look similar to, to this. Here comes the box going by the print head. Whoops, I just bumped into something there. It's now printed on their Wiltec services with a date and time. Try it one more time. As your box comes down, it'll pass by the print head. And there is your code. Whoop. Pretty big code, actually. Okay, and it's done in the just a regular aerial font. So the boxes keep coming. I just went by a little slower this time. The code's a little bit closer. You see that it's in half inch mode. That half inch code is exactly that. It's one half inch high. I'm going to convert. I'll change this over to a double line so you can see that one compared to this one. And I'll uh, but I'll I'll pause the video right here. Okay, we're back. I've made some changes. I will show you the display here. I've now changed the message to a two-line 
using the same speeds and everything else but now you see it says Wiltec services and it says the date and time below that it's going to be in a smaller font a little bit less than a quarter inch uh, actually I think it is uh, 3 16 to be exact and we'll see that on the uh, print head I'll run one by here so that you can see it and you can see the uh, the code differences between the two okay here comes the product getting ready to come by the print head and here we go there's the differences between whoops where are we here there we go there's the differences in print height between the two those are the two fonts that this particular printer comes with as default try one more time okay once again there is the code in a smaller version and if you see my finger here you can now see kind of the size we're talking about my hand uh, I got a ruler right here if you like which you can then take a look we'll do it in inches because we seem to like inches so much in this country and there is your size it's half inch in total just like the one above it is half inch in total okay and that's pretty much it uh, other than the fact that when it's in printing mode if you notice down here I can now unplug the controller so I've just unplugged the controller here it goes I'm going to take it out of the way the printer is still in printing mode it's going to continue to print all day long in this mode until you put hook the controller up and then shut it off and tell it not to print anymore so as I go by the print head here you notice we still have a print it's still going it's still there it's still happening and it won't stop until you actually physically plug the controller in to here go into the display after it says please wait it's now it says printing I'm now going to press the button right here. Whoops, got a little glare. I'm going to press this button right here. Now it says stopped. And you notice that the LED on the bottom of the print head is now turned off as compared to it being on, which apparently you can't see. Unless I move this out of the way, or I'll just move this over a little bit. Now maybe you can see it. Whoops. That's print mode on. Printing. Here, let's do it the right way. Printing stopped. Okay, that's simply how this thing works. Uh, the the rest of it is simply uh, going into the print into the controller here, putting your messages in, and that's how it works. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.